We are at the Beef Industry Conference going on in Denver, and pleased to be joined now by uh, Gary Ritz, who is the Minister for Agriculture and Agri-Food in uh, Canada. And uh, you have uh, been at this uh, meeting uh, several times, and uh, probably uh, to send the message of let's still cooperate, let's still get along, correct? Well, absolutely. I mean, the integration of the North American market is, is well respected around the world. Uh, we rely uh, about 70 percent uh, for our processing capacity for our cattle industry in Canada. So it's very important to us that the cattle industry here and the integration that we've enjoyed for the last uh, couple of decades continues and actually grows. Uh, country of Origin Labeling has put a huge ripple uh, speed bump in, in the road to the future, and uh, we're here to work with our, our industry, Canadian industry, Mexican industry, and U.S. industry, and all of our uh, coalition partners to push hard on the U.S. administration to uh, you know, repeal this political answer to a problem that doesn't exist. That has to be probably the biggest concern, probably one of the most frustrating points is the ruling that came out for country of origin labeling because it's something that we thought was done and, and many folks thought that it would to get along, but here we are uh, sitting we're, we're, the situation we're in. Mm -hmm. Well, we've, we've gone back to the WTO process three times as the Americans have appealed it. Uh, that uh, last one will be made public uh, sometime in September. We're looking forward to that so we can start to move forward, uh, you know, rebuilding our industries and making sure that integration is strong. How do you think that might turn out? Well, we're hopeful that, uh, you know, that uh, we've won twice. We're hoping that the third time is the charm. Uh, nothing has changed. Uh, we actually found the amendment even more discriminatory than the actual original rule was. Uh, we're facing uh, discrimination and segregation in, in our uh, livestock sector coming into the U.S. market. Mm -hmm. It's very important to us. We're our largest, each other's largest trading partners. So to have this type of uh, uh, hurdle thrown in, in makes no sense at all. Uh, even uh, USDA's own economist does not say there's any quantifiable benefit to American consumers, and yet there is harm to the overall American industry. You've been talking with leadership of NCBA and other groups uh, here in Denver. What's the message you're sending them? Well, they're frustrated as, as we are in that uh, the American uh, administration continues to flog this dead horse. They're going to ride it to the bottom. That's unfortunate. But at the end of the day, uh, we know that uh, right will prevail. Uh, there's a growing body of evidence and a growing number of groups coming forward uh, to support what we're talking about. A number of uh, legislators, both congressmen and senators, coming forward and saying, let's get this fixed. No one wants to see retaliation. Uh, you know, as Canadians, we're always friendly and respectful, but I'll tell you, at the end of the day, we're not going to blink. Retaliation is our only recourse to keep pressure on. That's exactly what we'll do. Beef prices, uh, record highs, numbers still down. We had another report of, uh, of some of that capacity for slaughter capacity in the U.S. Uh, uh, shrinking again. Uh, that's got to be a concern even uh, for you in, in Canada as well. Well, absolutely. As I say, we rely 70 percent for our processing capacity. On, on those plants here in the U.S. So as one closes, of course, that restricts our access as it does the small producers here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, having said that, there's a growing demand for protein around the world, so we know that there's uh, a lot more work to be done. Uh, so putting, putting our industry back at the forefront uh, is certainly something that needs to be done. I want to skip just a little bit. Talk about uh, grains and, and what's going on there. Obviously, it's been a it's been a good summer if you like fair weather, but it's been a little cool. Uh, what what are you hearing? What are you seeing? Uh, looking at uh, at your grain situation. Well, our grain crops are delayed. Uh, it was a late spring, but uh, they're catching up. The sun units are out there now, cooking everything, so it looks good. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had some uh, too much water in some areas, and not enough water in other areas, and that's the nature of having a, a country as large and diverse as Canada. Uh, having said that, we're looking at a at a a good crop. Uh, of course, it's not in the bin, so nobody should count their chickens just yet. But uh, having said that, by all indications, it looks good. Well, thanks a lot, Mr. Pleasure, Ken. Thank you. We've been talking with uh, Minister Gary Ritz, who is with uh, the Minister of Ag and Agri-Food in Canada here in Denver. For Ag View, I'm Ken Rogers.